So I'm here with the Maxpedition Vulture 2. Uh, this is their 72 hour pack. This one I've attached my uh, uh, sleep cell sleeping bag. I grabbed a couple of uh, compression straps just to strap that to the little things of webbing here on the bottom. This pack has 2,810 cubic inches of storage space, so it'll hold a lot of stuff. Uh, it's got three main compartments here. So on this side of the, uh, the Vulture 2, I have my hatchet here, and then secured to that, I have a little pouch with an FRS radio in there. On this side of it, I've got a uh, Cobra CB radio. So I won't be out of, uh, out of communication with anybody in my group, and I should be able to get in touch with anybody in case of an emergency. And then in the back here, this has a little pouch here so where you can store a 100 ounce uh, hydration bladder. As well as if you don't have a hydration bladder or you wanna store a water bottle or a canteen on the side of the bag, um, there's also some, some extra storage where you can store something flat in there, maybe a map, um, as well as there's some Velcro attached so where you can, you can use one of Maxpedition's uh, little concealed carry holster and put that in there as well as uh, some, some magazines for your, for your handgun. And then another great feature about this, uh, about this bag is that it has some, a waist strap here, which is just tremendous, it really helps. It's got PALS webbing on it. Um, right here, I just have it attached a little flashlight to it. But this really helps distribute the weight load and takes a lot of it off your shoulders. And this thing probably weighs, I'd say about 50 to 60 pounds. Um, has a the grab handle on top, very sturdy. This thing's very, very well put together. You know, with, with all the gear in here, I have no doubt that this thing's gonna gonna hold up and won't fall apart at all. So, I'm excited to try this thing out. So we're gonna go ahead and dive into the Vulture 2. Uh, we're gonna first thing here is take off this uh, little wire retention strap here or wire compression strap. Open up this front pouch. All right, also here, for, uh, for signaling people, I have an air horn. And I have my little uh, titanium spoon and fork. It's got a little knife edge here too. This is my little utensil to eat with. Okay, let's go ahead into this little front pouch here. This is kind of just for some quick accessible stuff that you need to get into. I have a map, so I always know where I'm going. This is just a map of Southern California. Uh, you know, I'll be able to navigate wherever I need to go. Then, going to the main pouch. Take off these compression straps here. All right, this thing opens up pretty much all the way to the bottom, so you can just kind of pack it, pack it neatly if you want, or if you're like me, you can just throw whatever you got in there. Um, in here, I got another pair of socks, a set of playing cards. Next thing we have in here is a BioLite camp stove. This is a great little stove. Uh, actually, it's the cool, uh, cool thing about it is it has this little device that hooks onto the side. I have an emergency blanket in case I get terribly cold. It's probably not going to happen here in Southern California. Uh, and then I got some uh, Starbucks instant coffee, so that's definitely going to help me out. Uh, multi mat here from it's called the Trekker. It's just a self inflating uh, mat for you to sleep on. So I'm going to be setting this up and then putting my uh, my sleeping bag on top of that, and should be a little bit more comfortable than the, these other guys. And then the uh, last part of this pack here is the hydration pouch. So you can fit a 100 ounce bladder of water. This here is just a little Camelback uh, hydration pouch. And on top of that, I have a uh, poncho. So, it'll, you know, if it does end up raining, I'll uh, keep myself dry. And lastly, um, the pack here has been treated with uh, Teflon. So, you know, it's easy, to, easy to clean out. Uh, you just get a little wet cloth. You can wipe out the inside and the outside. And it'll, you know, if it does get wet, the water will just bead right off of it. So, it's a great pack and I, once I get everything put back in here, we'll uh, go ahead and see how comfortable it is on our, uh, on our little trip.